All right, so like I promised, I'm out with the zero weather windscreen attached. Attached. Yeah, I still have the sticker on it. And I even added some uh, padded stickers behind, but it's not touching for the moment. That was just for safety reasons. What I will do now is the range test. So I did a range test without the screen and I'll do another range test now. Uh, similar conditions, but with the screen attached. It's a very, it's, um, the brand is Puig and uh, the model is um, uh, Bat from, uh, from Batman. And uh, that's the fitment. Uh, so it's very easy to install. All you need is like uh, a, an, a hex to an Allen key, I think they call it, to adjust these. Those are uh, ball sockets so that it uh, can rotate freely on those ends. And then here on, you have two clamps. So they have inserts here to clamp it on the... That, that's the only point where it's attached, but it's quite well fitted from what I, I've, I've been riding it uh, on these roads. It's, it does vibrate a bit despite being electric, it, but that's just because of these roads. But it doesn't uh, change position, so it stays. Uh, and I did put it like um, in line of, um, with the rest of the bike. So this has some curve to it. And then there is also this small uh, fly screen that has a curve. It's following the curve of that fly screen. So it's a bit upright, but uh, yeah, it's just uh, a quick test. Uh, of course, you'll get the best range if you uh, lay down on the bike, if you go, um, but even without the screen that will help so and well the nice thing is that uh since it's just uh on the handlebars that it's clamped i can use it on my other bikes as well so it's and it was around uh 100 euros it's the same track that i did without the windscreen uh, same settings, eco mode, 100 k's an hour. In reality, that is apparently 90. I see 95 kilometers an hour most of the time. And uh, consumption jumps between um, uh, 75 up to 95 uh, watts per kilometer. So uh, that is uh, equal to 7.5 up to 9.5. But in the, I do it in two ways, and in the other way, I have to do um, a bit more uphill, so the consumption still gets up a bit as well. The uh, problem with uh, zero is that the, that the instant value, can you even read the screen? Not sure. It, yeah, can you hear it? This is terrible uh, tur turbulence for that screen. Like this is, it's okay, normal sitting position. Like this, it's terrible. And like this, it's okay again. But I have to, um, I have to take this exit uh, and to turn around and to continue the test in the other direction so that I can eliminate differences of, um, well, wind direction and uh, you name it. Uh, I don't need this one anymore. I, no, not the screen shot. Okay, I don't need this one anymore. I'll quickly have a check if my screen has um, has stayed in position at that higher, well higher. I imagine if you go 140, that the pressure will be a lot higher on the windscreen. Uh, Comfort-wise, as long as you're sitting uh, straight, it's uh, you. It's a big difference. You have a lot less wind uh, to fight against so in winter it will be an awesome addition let's quickly 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 check and then continue the test yeah the screen has stayed in place perfect still nothing still my my uh, my distance is kept nothing touching anywhere perfect Okay, I'm back. I made it home just in time and I finished testing with the screen. Um, the, I did a quick calculation and um, no, it, uh, you should not get the screen just for the range. It's, uh, 
it gave it, it even gives me slightly worse range uh, normally without the screen with the same track i get like uh, 120 kilometers in range with the screen added and similar weather conditions i got uh, 117 i'll put a video out with more detail and with more numbers i also did a test where i uh, took in behind the screen to get uh, the range because i believe that will actually give you more range I did that test as well, but I still need to calculate it, so I don't know the numbers yet, and I'll I'll put it in the video. So make sure to watch that as well. But uh, the screen itself, no, you should not get the screen for um, for the range. But yeah, the, the difference, um, the three K that you that I lost, that's probably more related to differences in tire pressure, maybe, or slight differences in temperature or or environment, anything. But uh, for um, the the reason that you should get this screen for is the added comfort. So it's great for the reduction in uh, in wind. So it's a lot of uh, comfort gained, and it's good quality as well. I'll probably take it off for uh, for the summer and then put it back in the winter. Uh, it's easy to install, and I even did some cobbles getting home and I think yeah it didn't move at all so I, I, I it kept its position very well um, so yeah if you want the screen you should get it for comfort not for the added uh, for the added range but uh, yeah that's it